This video shows you how to get started with the DepExpress chart control for Xamarin Forms. You'll learn how to supply data to a chart, display multiple series in the same view, customize axes and legends, and enable advanced capabilities such as crosshair cursors and dynamic hints. Before you begin, we recommend that you review our documentation. See the topic titled Add Charts to Xamarin Form Solution. You'll find instructions on how to prepare your mobile app for use with DevExpress Chart View. You'll learn how to add references to our controls, add registration code to proper places in the project, and add a namespace and control declaration to your XAML code. If you've created your application and added all required references, it's time to add code that generates the data for your chart. We'll put that code into our View Model class. You see three lists with yearly gross domestic product values for USA, China, and Japan. At the bottom of the file, you'll see a GDP value class that stores a single year GDP pair. Another class is country GDP. This one stores a list of values for a particular country. These list classes will supply data to our chart series. Note that you can review and copy all the code in our documentation. Find the Getting Started section for the chart control and go to Lesson 2, How to Create a Cartesian Chart. Scroll down to find the View Model Declaration. Let's return to Visual Studio and switch to XAML code. This is the content definition for the page where you'll add a chart control. Let's start by adding namespace references. One is for local classes such as the view model we declared earlier. The second is for the chart view control itself. Now you can set the page's binding context to the view model class. The next step is to add the chart view definition. If you want, you can also copy that code from the Getting Started help topic. As you can see, the code consists of three main blocks. Each specifies settings for an individual series. Let's look at that first block that displays USA GDP numbers. First of all, it's a line series. It obtained its name from the country name property of the GDP value for USA object. The nested tags specify where the series should obtain its data. The data source is the values list. Years are set as arguments. They go on the x-axis. GDP numbers are values. They go on the y-axis. Let's run the application and see how these three series look in a live chart. You can see three lines and a few labels on the axis, but the nature of data is not explained in the chart. The vertical axis shows numbers, but doesn't indicate the measurement unit. The horizontal axis only lists a couple of randomly selected dates that don't help us analyze yearly data. Finally, the control does not indicate what each of the three lines means. Let's add all that missing information. We'll start with axis labels and measurement units. Back in XAML, add the axis X and axis Y nested declarations into the chart view markup. Axis X code specifies that we are only interested in the year portion of the date time values and that we want to display labels for each individual year. Axis Y adds a label to explain the measurement units, customizes label font, and changes value format and location. Run the application again. Note how the horizontal axis now displays yearly labels and the vertical label displays text that explains the measurement units. Let's return back to XAML code. Now we add a legend declaration to the chart view markup. The only settings we need are the legend's position and orientation, and the control will display the labels that identify the series. If you run the application, you'll see how country names are now displayed at the top of the chart so that users can make complete sense of the displayed data. Close the application and let's enable yet another capability that will help users read chart data. We will add crosshair cursors and dynamic hints. First of all, add a separate nested definition for the hint object. The settings inside that object say that the hint title should display arguments as years and that three series values are to be displayed. Now you need to add code to each series and specify how to format hint values. In all three instances, we use the series name and y-axis value separated by a colon. Run the application. If you interact with the chart, you will see crosshairs that highlight values on axes. The chart also displays a hint with the argument and value summary for all three series. One final thing we'll show in this tutorial is how to customize series appearance. In the line series markup that displays China GDP values, add a nested tag named style. 
As you can see, the added code changes line and marker attributes. To display point markers, you also need to add an attribute to the series declaration. Run the application for the last time. As you can see, the China line is now purple and displays round markers in each point. The color change is reflected in the legend as well as in interactive hints. This concludes our quick tutorial. We recommend that you also review the demo application and learn about other capabilities available in our Xamarin Forms chart view control. You can get the demo source from the download manager on devexpress.com or from our GitHub repository. To review the app on your mobile device, find the free download on the iOS App Store or in Google Play. Once you loaded the demo, go to the chart section. We'll show you a few modules in this video. First, a few modules that demonstrate advanced capabilities. Spectrum analysis, logarithmic scales, financial chart, selection, multiple axes, large data sets. We also include a few demos so you can review all available chart types, different variations or bar or column views, lines, including splines and step lines, point and bubble charts, different kinds of area views, and finally, pies and donuts. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever DevExpress releases new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.